Hi everybody. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make really cute, simple, quick and easy save the dates using um, a blank rustic floral template. Um, it's super easy to do. You can have it done in just a couple of minutes and you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars. You can uh, have these printed from home on cardstock or you can have them printed at a copy shop. You can have them printed with an online vendor, you can print them really anywhere. So let me go ahead and get started and show you exactly what to do. What you're gonna wanna do is just open the internet browser, whatever browser you use, and you're gonna go to pickmonkey.com, and then you're gonna choose edit, and from the drop down menu, you're gonna choose computer, and you're gonna select the template, from the computer. I will um, leave a link down below so that you can download this template if you want to use this template. So once you download the template using the link um, that I leave below, then you just save it to your computer and you pull it up here in PicMonkey. So here's the blank template. This is what it looks like. It has a little bit of um, floral artwork already with the header save the date in this really pretty cursive font. And all you're gonna do, it's already sized at five by seven and ready to print at, and, and um, save and print. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to the left and you're gonna click on this T icon for text. And once you click on the T icon, um, it's gonna bring up a bunch of different fonts that you can use within PicMonkey, all of these fonts. Or, um, and there's a ton of them. You can see if I go down the list here, there's so many. Um, these are the ones that come installed with PicMonkey, and PicMonkey is a free program. If you've never used it before, anybody with an internet connection can use it. Um, you can use the paid version if you want. I've never found it necessary. Um, for, for templates like these, the free version is just perfectly fine, so it works out great. Um, or if you have a font, a really pretty font that you want to use that you have in mind already on your computer, you would click here on yours and it would bring up the fonts that you have available on your computer. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to use their fonts just to show you how easy it is. So I'm going to just use this basic one first, Geo Sans Light. So I'm going to highlight it and click Add Text and you'll see um, an empty text box pops up here and I'm just gonna drag it with my mouse right below. And I'm gonna start typing the details. The font is gonna be really large at first and that's okay. I'm gonna resize it and make it look perfect after I'm done. So I'm just gonna type for the wedding of, I'm gonna highlight it and over here where it says size, this little button, when you drag it left or right, will make the font bigger or smaller. So I'm going to drag it to the left and make it smaller. And then I'm going to center it a little bit smaller. About there. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit duplicate text. I'm going to double click inside the box. And now I'm going to um, type the names of the bride and groom. So for the wedding of. Melissa and Joshua. Now the names, I want them to stand out and pop a little bit more, so I'm going to make it bigger by dragging this button to the right. Oh, I like that. Okay, and it's already um, pretty much centered where I want it, so I'll just leave it there. And then I'm going to choose the smaller text here, and I'm gonna duplicate it again by right-clicking and choosing Duplicate Text. I'm going to go right before, um, below this little floral artwork and I'm going to double click. And now I'm just going to put the date of the upcoming wedding, which is just using a sample date. And then I'll just put Dallas, Texas. You can put the location, whatever you want to put there. It's up to you. And I'm going to drag it down just a little bit, like about here. And then I'm going to use this coffee break font. It's like a fancier script font. Let me see if there's one that I would prefer, but I think that's the one that I like. Yeah. And I'm going to click add text. One more little detail here at the bottom. I'm going to drag the box down to the bottom. 
double click inside and I'm just gonna type formal invitation to follow. Highlight that text and I'm gonna come over here and center it with these little lines. Um, I would like that to be a little smaller, so maybe like there. And there you have it. There's your simple, beautiful, rustic save the date card. It's already sized at five by seven, so all you would do once you're done adding your wording is you would click up here on export and it would walk you through saving it to your computer. You would just name the file, save it on your desktop or wherever you wanna save it, and it's ready to print. You can send it to Kinko's or Staples or Vistaprint. You could print it at home. Um, it's super easy and it just took us, you know, a couple of minutes to do it. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And um, again, I will leave the link for this template down below so you can access it as well. Um, uh, really, you don't need anything other than an internet connection. And if you're printing at home, you would need white cardstock, eight and a half by 11 inch white cardstock. Um, and you can get that at any craft store or online. So it's super easy, super affordable, saves you a ton of money, and they're beautiful, so you can't beat that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have questions, leave me a comment down below. Bye-bye, guys.